Like many communities across the area, gun violence has been a challenge in Waukegan. With the long summer months ahead, the city has come up with a creative partnership between its public works department and a local nonprofit. WGN's Lauren Jiggetts has the story. Waukegan's mayor says they tried a youth outreach program last year but didn't have the success they wanted. She says partnering with a nonprofit has made a huge difference. It's a mutually beneficial program. The city gets much needed help in public works and the young adults earn money and the benefits go far beyond the paycheck. To many in Waukegan, these cracked, rusted fire hydrants are an eyesore. But others saw them as an opportunity to get young people working. We're doing great work. There are thousands of fire hydrants in the city of Waukegan alone. We're going to get them. 3,000 hydrants in all. And every day from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. this summer, young adults carry their paint cans and brushes and make their way up and down the streets of Waukegan, scrubbing down the old paint and putting on a fresh coat. It's a partnership between the city and the nonprofit organization, the Ant Mound Foundation. In exchange for this public work, participants are paid $15 an hour. There's jobs that are available through public works and that this can be the start of something bigger. So you scrub all these first, right? While Keegan and Mayor Ann Taylor believes it's an effective way to tackle gun violence. Hopefully it shows kids how to productively fill their time so they're not on the streets, they're not you know, just idling, doing nothing. They have something to fill their day um, that they get a paycheck for at the end of it. So you have to do it before you do the green. 16-year-old yeah. Rogelio Sanchez found out about the opportunity through his mother. I've made friends in this program. I've enjoyed my time here. I really enjoyed it. I like painting and stuff. It I've must be nice to get it. paid for it too, right? <laughs> it, it is nice to get paid for it. You want to that part was green. Anthony McIntyre is the founder of the Ant Mound Foundation. You take some pressure off of your families because you can pay for some of your own things because you work for it. Um, that in itself is a deterrent to shenanigans in the streets. It also is a distraction away from other people that may try to convince them to do things to make money. And 17-year-old Malin Garcia says it's not only the money that has helped her. It helped me a lot with my social skills, honestly, because well, I talk to a lot of people now and I would never be doing this before because I'm forced to like talk to my group and communicate with them. The program is open to people between 16 and 24 years old. About 25 people have been hired this summer, and 17-year-old Jacob Hatcher is one of those new employees. Uh, I'd probably just be in the house, not doing nothing really. And Public Works Director Chris Garland says there's plenty of opportunity here to keep busy. We're roughly at about 500 right now, so, you know, we're getting it. There's a lot of summer left though, right? Yes, there's a whole lot of summer left. <laughs> It also goes beyond the paycheck. It's pride in doing a job well done. They look good when we get done doing them. It kind of brightens up the little neighborhoods that we do. McIntyre sees it as a partnership that benefits the entire community. So to have a city that's willing to put something in place that allows for a partnership with a nonprofit organization, a community organization, and then we can collaborate together because it's all of our community. I mean, you can't ask for much better than that. There is also a classroom component to the program that focuses on managing money. McIntyre says they learn about taxes, bank accounts, and even credit scores, all to encourage them to use their paychecks wisely. Lauren Jiggetts, WGN News.